This mystery diet will help you lose 10 pounds in one week. Ever heard of the term military diet? And dubbed as one of the most popular diets in the world, this enigma of a diet claims to help you lose up to 10 pounds in a week. But the question is, does it really work? Is it worth it or safe to try it? To know more about this mysterious diet that will hopefully help shed off those 10 extra pounds in just a week, continue watching this video. We will also be giving you a meal plan idea of the military diet, like how many calories you should consume on day one and so on. So sit back and join us in today's video. What is the military diet? In a nutshell, a military diet follows a diet that's low in fats, carbs and calories but high in protein. On top of that, specific food combinations must also be followed to enhance metabolism and burn fat. Interestingly, despite its name, the military diet isn't in any way related to how military people eat. How does it work? This diet involves splitting one whole week into two phases. The first three days should follow a low-calorie meal for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's important to note that no snacks shall be eaten between meals during these three days. Each day, the total calorie consumption should be around 1,100 to 1,400. As for the remaining four days, they have fewer restrictions, which means you can eat healthy while observing a low calorie intake. Try to start with a total of 1,400 calories on your first day, then reduce it to 1,200 calories on the next, and finally 1,100 on the third day. Feel free to drink as much tea and coffee as you need, provided that they don't have any added calories from cream or sugar. Drink lots of water too. Foods to buy for the first phase, aka the first three days. Two apples, two banana, peanut butter, eggs, caffeinated coffee or tea, whole wheat bread, hot dogs, three cans of tuna, fresh, canned or frozen green beans, carrots, cheddar cheese, saltine crackers, cottage cheese, vanilla ice cream. Instead of some of the foods mentioned, you can swap them for their counterparts such as almond butter instead of peanut butter, some almonds instead of a cup of tuna. Just remember that the calorie count should remain as is even if you swap some foods. What does the second phase look like? After completing the first phase of the military diet, proceed on the next, which still involves dieting. However, unlike the first phases, snacks are allowed during day four to day seven and there will no longer be food group restrictions. But there's a catch. Limit your portion sizes and try to not go beyond 1,500 total calorie intake per day. To track your calorie intake, there are lots of apps available for that. Anyway, other than those two rules, the remaining four days are pretty much basic. If the military diet seems like a good fit for you, comment on your thoughts below. You can also get back to us with how your progress is going so far. Just drop your experience in the comments section below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. For more interesting facts on the human body, subscribe to the channel.